let's take a quick look at what this is going to look like. Alright guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. Do not believe that, oh here you gotta swipe your card to get back to the room. Yeah, I got all the way down to the lobby to pick up dinner. Tonight I'm picking up uh, roast jerk chicken for dinner. But as you guys might notice, I forgot my mask. It's one of those things. So yeah, heading back to the room again. Filmed all that sequence. To be coming back to it was crazy. It's crazy. All right, so came back with the dinner really quick. I hate wearing these masks sometimes, but let's take a quick look at what this is going to look like. I hope it does look like some form of jerk chicken. I don't even know. And this is what it looks like. Um, I don't know, diehard Jamaicans will know like when it comes down to jerk chicken, it's generally more of a dark look. It's more charred, but this is a roasted chicken. So it's not gonna have that much of a, any burnt type of look to it. Um, but yeah, that's it. So far, the food here hasn't been so bad. Out of most hotels that I've been to, this has been one of the better ones. Yeah, some improvements here or there, but I won't lie, it hasn't been so bad. The service, maybe not a one, but I'm gonna try this really quick and I'll tell you, you know, what I think and I'll see if I could do an outdoor jerk chicken to this and see if it looks better and if it tastes better. So I've been drinking all day, so I got some orange juice. You guys might not be able to see that, but I got some orange juice. It came with... <laughs> so it came with coleslaw. This is... The serving of coleslaw that they gave to me. They don't have um, room service, unfortunately, so I had to go down to the lounge to get this. I'm not left-handed, but just for the sake of the video. Hmm. A little bit dry at some parts, but I won't say it's so bad. You guys be the judge of it. I'll do this exact dish outdoors, and you guys will tell me which one would you prefer. I'm not going to do a roasted one. It's going to be mostly jerk, and we'll see which one wins. <laughs> and I'll definitely offer a little bit more coleslaw than this. <laughs> yeah, for those who are interested, total meal cost, including the orange juice, is somewhere around 22 23 bucks. Yeah. That's what you get. All right, guys, so we are now at the outdoor section of the video. Funny enough, Got to meet a subscriber who has been watching my videos for a while and is a fond lover of jerk chicken, right? You've had jerk chicken at Island Grill, I think. You've had it from the Pan Chicken Man. And you've also had it, you've had a hotel jerk chicken, right? Now, I'm gonna do for her some outdoor jerk chicken. I think it's quite easy. Um, I already have the chicken seasoned up on everything. So chicken done seasoned on everything already um, for about 12 hours. Um, if you guys want to know how to season a jerk chicken, I have a video where I did it at home, so I'll show you. You can, I'll link it somewhere so you guys can follow that. And let's start an outdoor fire. Up here is normally wet, so I'm just going to be using some coal. We had to load with a bunch of bags. She was a trooper. Big up yourself. When she came here, she went, ah! I was like, yo, Jane, 
baptize that. <laughs> but anyway, let's get this fire started and hopefully my chicken will be a little bit better. Drop in the comments and tell me guys which you think is best. Oh, go on. Okay. Eh? You remember me? Yes. Now you have one little son. Yes, yeah. In the day you know In a day? When gone? Okay. Uh, so we got some chicken here vacuum sealed marinated for about 12 hours did this overnight you can see all that good Jamaican seasoning in there again I'll put the link so you can follow my recipe did a whole video on it A lot of times in uh, restaurants and kitchens like that, they always do stuff like this. Have the food pre-done. So there we have it. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna pop that. On top. So any Jamaican would tell you the key thing about jerk chicken is the smoke. But because we don't have like a grill, I'm just gonna use these wet leaves. I've used this before in my video where I did the, me and my cousin and I did the, the underground chicken thing. So I know that these leaves are good. They'll lock in some moisture. Give me a little bit of smoke. You don't need much smoke because whether it's covered or not, it's going to be smoky. And thanks to my subscriber for being a trooper. <laughs> but you love jerk chicken, so you're going to work for that chicken, right? So I'm going to cover that. Just lay a little stick on top just to keep it in. So this device I had in my wish list. I want to send a big shout out to the subscriber that got this for me. It, it's a dream because with this now, it can get the coal like really hot, really fast. And I can just dump them under there once this starts going out. So I'm not really worrying so much. So big up to you, subscriber. You know yourself. Drop in the comments if you were the one who did it.
as you can see, like it's still very moist up top. Still super moist up top, which is a good sign. I'm gonna give it a little flip so we can see what I'll go on with it. Smells so good. And when you do it this way, all in one, you will get a very moist chicken. I can put it up afterwards, but how oh, it is now, it's good. So this was the marinade that it was in. I'm gonna use that back. A little beer, beer add some flavor to it. Add whatever you want, wine or whatever, but in Jamaica we use either water or beer. And then, Alright, so we have it covered again, leave it for a bit more and then we can always keep basting it, you know, keep it moist. It smells like heaven. Smells like what? Heaven. Like heaven? <laughs> the whole vibe, man. I don't know, I'm, I'm doing pretty fine, but people watch the videos and they want the experience and like, oh, I wanna be where you are, and they don't know. Like, it's a job. But that definitely is a whole part of the outdoor experience. Honestly, it's not really bothering me as much because I'm, I'm cooking and I'm filming and stuff. Matter of fact, if you guys love these kind of videos and you appreciate the job that I'm doing out here, drop a like on the video make sure you do that that's how you help us youtubers grow and you know i'm gonna appreciate that but i'm gonna include a subscriber right now in the cooking experience where i'm gonna let her cut up some cabbage some purple cabbage because we're gonna replicate what we got at the hotel so we're gonna cut up some purple cabbage and a couple carrots and we're gonna make a outdoor coleslaw and i think you mentioned you like kfc's so we're gonna do it as close to KFC kind of flavor. And yeah, are you ready? She don't like the camera, so if you're gonna be in the comments like, show her face, show her face, stop. You say you don't know how I squat down? Yeah, it's a part of it. You gotta stay flexible. So that's your cutting board right there. That's your little area. And I'm gonna get you the ingredients, all right? All right, so your first ingredient, purple cabbage. And you like vegetables in it. Love it. So you're gonna go by the river, do your washing, or you can wash it after you cut. You want the whole experience, right? Mm -hmm. The whole experience. So this is an experience of a lifetime, cooking by a river and stuff. You don't really want a lot of carrots, to be honest. But I'll probably say about this, that should be a fair balance. And how I normally do it. When I'm cutting the cabbage, it's not like how you have in the U.S. where you have the grater. So how I do it, Bushman style, thin, very thin slices, as thin as you can get them. Yeah, because you want when you chew it, it's not obnoxious. So like this, I could, I could chew it, the cabbage is already sweet. So enough for you to like chew into it. You, you know what you're doing. You've been here. All right. Okay, so you want to see how to do the carrot? The carrot is the same idea, but you just want it thin, so of course take out the top. And then in Jamaica, I remember seeing my mom do this, <laughs> like, you know, do that, whatever. But then the cuts, you want them thin. They're not round, but thin, so you can just bite into it. Long way. In the chef's kitchen, we call that julienne. Yep. Oh, 
go watch now. So I just basted it just now. You gotta keep that skin, so that skin is like the best part. But the chicken is so tender, it's already falling apart, which is a good part, which is a good thing to see. So it means that it's been slow cooking. Uh, never wanted it to. Fall apart. That's okay. I try my best to assemble it a bit. That's why when you see the pan chicken man, they always do a thing they call uh, packing. Packing the chicken. So they keep it as close together. So even though the chicken is uh, quartered up on everything, it's packed tight. So it keeps that moisture in and get a tender chicken. Not worried too much about the skin because we can cut that up when we're serving it. But what's important is to make sure that chicken stays moist. So chicken is almost done. All right, so she did a pretty good job doing these here, but just to speed it up a little bit, I'm gonna finish off these real quick. All right, so this is a pretty much a, <laughs> a rushed type of coleslaw, but it's still gonna taste just as good. Well, you'll be the judge of it. So all we're gonna do is just add some brown sugar, some vinegar and mayonnaise, and yeah, that's gonna be it. And we should have a nice coleslaw. All right, so I coleslaw, keep them simple. Vinegar, lots of mayo, and I have some sugar that I have left over from a previous camping trip. It's not much, but it should be fine. Just gonna move that around a bit. And that's basically a coleslaw. One thing you want to get right is just the the acidity, the creaminess sweetness whatever it is like that you like so if you like a coleslaw that's nice and creamy then you add more um, mayonnaise if you like it sweet add more sugar if you like it more tangy or acidic add more vinegar that's basically it sometimes I don't have any salt or black pepper I normally carry that but this is a quick trip I wanted my subscriber to try some food from me so quick and fast and that coleslaw is done you want to try it come on Give me your honest opinion. That was, I never measured anything, threw everything in. Good. It's good. All right. I hope you ain't lying. You be flying? <laughs> All right, so we got some hot water going off. I left some stuff like my hot water pot, but whatever. And you said you like the cold stuff. You never made it before? Whoa, yeah, so it's quick, simple ingredients, keep it simple, great coleslaw. All right, this chicken should have enough smoking already and everything like that should now be thoroughly cooked so I'm just gonna keep basting it a bit so when I cut it up it's juicy so we're running out of daylight as well it's like almost five o'clock we need to go Alright, 
Now we are the final stage, so they get some color. Because she is nice and tender. Looks good. Oh yeah, smells good too. Now oh, we are dealing with some rush cooking. Cause time I catch it, huh? Still I got nice same way. So you are gonna be like, you are gonna be the ultimate test cause you have had it. You sent me pictures from your hotel, um, jerk chicken. I've had jerk chicken at many places, hotels recently as well. So I think you're gonna be one of those to, to tell the tale. And guys, remember if you're watching, drop in the comments and tell me what you think. If you think it's not good, drop in the comments because a lot of you guys are experts on jerk. You've eaten it before, you know the whole vibe. The only thing that's missing from this would be like some pimento wood to give it more flavor. But yeah, apart from that, it smells good. I know, right? Smell of vision. <laughs> so, how do you feel though? Like, you've watched the videos and now you're gonna try to try the food. How do you feel? It's a good experience. It's a good experience. When you watch it, you don't know how much it entails. So you don't see how you. much you don't see how much work goes into oh the video. Oh my god! It's up to you. To film everything. And make it look so easy as you. Yeah, I feel So we're just gonna grill some bread really quick. Get this butter melted on this pan, well in this pan. Wipe it onto the bread, toast it. And then we'll have like a little jerk bread type of thing. I'll go on. Some people like when the bread is kind of flavored. Try to do it like the street man them. Then normally just straight on, on the chicken and you get a flavor, but doing it this way. So it's a chicken juicy. You said the chicken looked juicy, right? Huh? Nice color. You want to try a piece? <laughs> so that's like the, the breast part. That is juicy. It's juicy? Mm -hmm. You get any spice? Mm -hmm. Nice spice? All the flavor. All the flavor? Good. Tastes good? Really good. So it's a breast and wing for you. Breast and wing. Breast and leg. Breast and leg. Alright, so skin there. So breast and leg. Oh my. Tell me about it. and leg I'm definitely in a rush because we left it losing light but um, this is gonna be the butter for the bread are you ready You ready? Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> so on the outside of the bread has a nice little softness to it. Well actually the outside has a nice little crunch to it actually. But it's still soft. Still soft. I'm I'm gonna serve you. If I eat that's okay, but if I don't it's fine because you are the guest here today. Coleslaw. There you go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And get the pork. Get the pork. What do you think? Thank you. Mmm. It's delicious. It's okay. The spices. You have a kick of the pepper hotness. Yep. It tastes all the flavor. In the chicken? 
And it's juicy. It's juicy. And soft for breath. It's a, it's soft for the breast, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, to get the breast is always a little bit tricky. Well, anyway, eat what you eat, and then good. tell me which one is better. Like if you thought the island grill one was better, the hotels that you've been to, or so the hotel is out. That's hotel is out. Com okay. No comparison. No comparison. Between the pan man, pan chicken, uh huh. Yours has more flavor. More flavor. So his had flavor, but he had it like how he would season maybe like in the, the center. Uh huh. So when you bite into the center, you taste the flavor, but like the out core. No flavor. No flavor. Oh yeah, because the pan chicken man, what they normally do, they normally stuff the, the escalions inside the chicken right. itself. Right, and then yeah. you can see it too when you see yeah, the exactly. part. Yeah, But yours has the flavor all over, so all balance. Over. Balance. Nice. All right, finish your dish and then we'll see. Yes, sir. Because <laughs> I'm a messy eater, so bye. <laughs> all right, so we got through everything. It's about five something in the evening right now. Subscriber kept saying, yo, it be this bad up, but couldn't put on the camera because she was cussing a lot. Food was good, right? Her plate is empty, so we're gonna try to get a quick dip in this freezing water, but remember what your job is after watching this video, you watch the start and you're now at the end. Drop in the comments, which do you think was better? Do you think uh, the hotel jerk chicken that you saw was better or my version of an outdoor cooking style might have been a little bit better my subscriber definitely loved it i think it was pretty good and yeah remember to also drop a like on the video definitely appreciate that but anyway let's go take a quick swim after that question again the plate clean <laughs> what you call it crime scene crime scene she was drinking a tropical rhythm sorrel drink it's pretty good all right let's swim All right, so we made it back out of that jungle in the darkness just now. Woo! What was it? What was the experience like? It was great. I had a wonderful time. Um, definitely gonna remember it for a lifetime. Walk was long, but it was doable. Coming back was a little scarier than going, but overall we did that. So yeah, right. no complaints. We got there a little bit late. What about the food? What about the waterfall? Mwah, mwah, mwah to the food. Out of ten, how much you give it? Fifteen. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> You're doing real good. <laughs> Logging with me through these parts. Ah, this is all a part of it, bad. So dark. <laughs> like pitch black.